Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to build your own rug tufting frame just like the one I have here. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your uh, local Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I recommend going to Lowe's because they're black owned, support black owned business, but if not, that's cool too. Just make sure that wherever you go, they cut wood for free. So you're gonna go in there and get two two by fours, and then you're going to ask them to cut one of those pieces right in half, and then the other one in two thirds. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need is two bar clamps. So right here, I have a pack of four because that's all they had at my store. Um, you can definitely find bar clamps for way cheaper than this. So really, you only have to spend about $7 on these. And the next thing you're gonna need are some wood screws. Make sure that they are pretty long. So I believe mine were like eight inches long. Um, just make sure that they are long enough to go through both pieces of wood. You're also going to need a power drill and a pack of these tack strips. Um, I got a pack of three. The last few things you're going to need are either a really sharp knife with ridges on the bottom like the one I have here and a hammer. Now I 1000% recommend that you use a mini saw instead of a knife, however I didn't have one and this worked out just fine but it is kind of dangerous to use a knife so use a mini saw if you can. You're also going to need a small piece of wood. Now I just had this one like randomly lying around for my last project um, but it really doesn't matter how long it is just make sure it's like rectangular and long enough to hang off the side of your frame. And lastly, you're just going to need two screw eyes that look just like this. Alright, so now it's time to assemble. So here I'm just going to demonstrate for you guys how we're going to put it together. So the piece that you had them cut in half is going to be our base, and it is at the very bottom. And the piece that you had them cut in two thirds is going to serve as our side and top pieces, as you see here. Um, so that other half that you had them cut, you don't need that, um, so you can throw it away, do whatever you want. So now that everything is nice and aligned, we're gonna go ahead and add our screws in. So this is the first corner. I'm going to add in three screws just to make sure that everything is tight. Um, it probably could do well with just two, but I added three to be on the safe side. And guys, hopefully you can work a drill a little bit better than I can. <laughs> I did the same exact thing to the second corner and now we're gonna go ahead and put our base on. All right, so I'm gonna put the top of our frame kind of in the middle of the base so you should have um, extra wood on each side um, and that, the extra wood is what we're gonna use to clamp it to whatever surface you wish to put your frame on. But same thing here, I'm gonna put three screws into the bottom to secure it. Now that everything is secure, your frame should look like this and we're gonna go ahead and add on our rug gripper. So the rug gripper is going to be longer than the frame is. So we're gonna have to go ahead and cut this to size. Now y'all, this is why I'm saying you should use a mini saw instead for this part because obviously, as you can see, I am struggling here. Um, there's like tack sticking out. So it's definitely not safe. If you have gloves, I would put some on for this, but I didn't have a mini saw or gloves. So, you know, I made it do what it do. So I just cut it to size. Um, I went ahead and like cleaned up the edge so it's not too, um, prickly at the end and then I'm going to hammer it into the frame. Now um, you don't need to buy any nails for this part. It does already come with nails in it. So I'm going to do the same process on every edge. Now guys, um, something really important to remember is that it does matter which direction you put the strips in. I will give you an example um, of how to put them on just to make sure you guys are doing it right, but just make sure that you're putting them in the correct direction. All right, y'all. So for the top, like I said, I only got three of these things. Um, so for the top, I put two of the scrap pieces together and cut them to size uh, to make it like one, if that makes sense. I didn't want to buy another one because I knew I didn't necessarily need it. But if you wanted to get more rug grippers, you definitely can. So you don't have to do it this way. But this is how I like to do it. So um, that's how I did it. And this is what it should look like now with everything secure and your rug grippers on. Okay, so this is super important. Make sure that when you do uh, nail them in, they are nailed in in this direction. If you do not put them in this direction, it will not grip your monk's cloth or whatever fabric you're using correctly. So make sure that they are placed onto your frame just like this. All right, and our last step is to put this little wood piece on top of our frame to hold our yarn. So we're gonna just take two of those eye screws and screw them in just like that. Um, now I place one like right in the middle and then another one on the edge so it can hang off of our frame. So it's just going to sit at the top of your frame just like this. Um, so go ahead and put a couple screws in there to secure it. And after that, everything should be good to go and we are ready to put it on our surface. 
we're just gonna clamp each end of our rug frame onto whatever surface we would like and we're ready to go. So I personally put my yarn into this cup um, just because I didn't feel like building like a frame for my yarn to sit on. Um, I do use yarn that spools out from the middle, which is definitely what I recommend. You're just gonna feed that through those two little eye hooks and you are all set. I hope this video was useful and if you guys have any other things that you would like to see, leave them in the comments below. Until then, see y'all later, bye.